Hello, my name is Alex Reitzma, and today I'm going to show you the field calibration process from within Trimble FieldLink. This process varies slightly based on which type of robotic toll station you're using, but the benefits remain the same. Namely, this process verifies that phase 1 and phase 2 of the robotic total station are aligned, and stores an adjustment value between the two. Additionally, this process calibrates the trillion to shoot perfectly up and down. Finally, when using an RTS-873, this process aligns the green and red laser to ensure accuracy with, when laying out with direct reflex. The field calibration shoots to any glass prism in passive mode. This process should be ran about every month. However, any time there is a question of accuracy, such as if the RTS is transported via plane or car, or simply to ensure the accuracy, this simple to perform field calibration is the first place to start. To get started, select Device, and then Settings. At the bottom left, you'll need to select Robot, and then at the bottom right, you'll see a Calibrate Instrument. This will start roughly a three minute process. As you see on screen, ensure that the prism is at least 65 feet away. However, calibrate the instrument to the distance you will be laying out. If you are taking longer shots, put the prism out as far as your job site allows. After hitting the measure button, you will see the RTS go through several face and angle turns. Uh, make sure the prism and RTS are not bumped or touched during this process, and that the prism is roughly at the same elevation as the RTS. We'll let this go through. You see it says it's calibrating its compensator. The next part varies based on which type of robotic total station you're using. If you're using an RTS 6 or 7 series, you will simply get a message that the calibration adjustments have been stored. In my case, I am using an RTS 873 with a green DR laser. So now, we are prompted to go through a further calibration step. Here it says calibrating green laser. After several minutes, it will prompt us to aim red laser at target. For this part, I use a mark on a column and aim it to the center of the mark using an interactive joystick. This means that it does not need to be aimed at the prism any longer. In this case, I'll use this checkerboard I have set up in our uh, set here. So um, I'll get it aimed at the center of our prism using the interactive joystick. And after I'm happy that it's hitting the center of the mark, I'll hit measure. Then it asks us to aim the green laser at the same location for the first measurement. Looking at the measurement, that looks pretty good. So I'll hit measure again. And now it turns to face two. I repeat this process on this other face. It says aim green laser at same location for second measurement. Again. I would use an interactive joystick to realign to the center of my mark, and then I'll hit measure again. It then says that the green laser calibrations were stored, and then I have the ability to switch between the green and red uh, laser to verify they're at the same location. It asks me if I want to store these calibration results. If they are not aligned after several attempts, the RTS will need to be serviced in a Trimble authorized service center. If they are aligned, hit accept. If you'd like to learn more tips and tricks, check out our YouTube channel or contact your local Building Point representative. Thanks for watching.